Hello everybody, this is George with Melnix Automotive. In this video I would like to show you how to clone a Lexus IS250 computer. Most Lexus's computers are the same, so you should be able to use this procedure on any Lexus uh, that you're working on. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is my Lexus that I'm working on, it, which is a 2013, has been in an accident and they mounted a computer in really bad place right behind driver's side headlight and every time you get it damaged to that side it will bend the computer or even break it into pieces in this case it actually bent it and the corner of the case from the computer damaged some parts as you can see right there that's all damaged it's all pushed in and who knows there could be some lines that broken inside a computer I don't want to take a chance a new computer is listing at $1,000 and uh, also it will need to be programmed by like a locksmith or a dealer which will cost another 150 or more. So actually what I did, I ended up buying another computer, matching part number from another used vehicle, it matches uh, exactly the same part number and uh, the same options just as my car had and what I'm actually gonna do I'll actually just clone it so I'll take the data from this computer by removing a chip which is it's a RS86 which is located on this car right over here and I'm gonna remove that using hot soldering iron you could use a heat gun but you want to be very careful you would like to probably put a foil and make a little hole in the foil if you're gonna use a heat gun and uh, use uh, like tweezers to pull it up and I'm gonna just uh, replace it on this circuit board I'm gonna pull this one out and uh, when I put it back in my car uh, my car will start and uh, I won't have any issues uh, but this computer I didn't pay pretty much anything for this computer so um, let's get going I'm gonna pull it out and do a swap so I'm actually, I have a hot soldering iron, I'm going to heat it up real nice. So I just removed the EEPROM on this one. And now I'm going to remove it out of this one. You want to put it in there right where it belongs. Okay, since we have replaced this chip here, there's one more that we have to replace which is located right above on the left side, above this big chip right here. So we'll do exactly the same procedure on this circuit board. We're going to just swap them out so I'll take this chip and I'll put it here and uh, this computer will be cloned um, very easy and then we'll go and test it on the car okay guys this is my computer that I have just cloned and um, like I said we're gonna test it out in just a second I got my power there and this is the original case for my original computer you could see what happened to it and, and how how messed up it is because it's mounted right behind front driver's headlight and every time you know the car gets in an accident and it hits the car in this area it usually breaks the computer so I'm gonna get inside my car and start it up for the first time okay Shift to park because it's a neutral now. Beautiful. My car is running. I still have a lot of lights on, which I'll do my diagnostics on that, but because I have a lot of stuff disconnected. But I'll go back right out. 
That's it, my engine is running. I'm gonna turn it off because I'm still working on this car, but I was just able to save myself over a thousand dollars because I would have bought a computer for a thousand and then the programming would have cost me another 100 to 150 bucks. Thanks for watching. This was George with Melnick's Automotive. Please subscribe for, to our channel. We'll be posting very cool videos daily.